the one you've been waiting on. Welcome to my three-story closet tour. All right, so we're gonna start on the first floor. The first floor is what I call affectionately the shoe department, so come on in. So the closet was actually designed and inspiration of our retail store, our flagship uh, store in Short Pump. So all of the hardware, all of the shelving, everything is pretty much reminiscent of that style, very opulent, very, but also eclectic at the same time. So here is the shoe collection. Um, I definitely try to organize them by fit of shoe or silhouette of shoe, if you will. So like here I have a lot of flats, but then you'll see some like a little 2.5 inch, a little three inch mixed up in there. This is more so like when I wanna be comfy, right? So when I wanna be comfy, this is my section. I have it bad for Bottegas. I have it also bad for a Christian Dior flat. This is my most favorite shoe in the whole wide world. As you can see, it got stains all in them. It have been to all the islands and they just, they just trifling, but they hold up so well and I love them. And then I also have some of my favorite sassy bags that we've designed over the years. So if you look up here, you'll see um, the convertible Lori backpack and also bag. I still have it in all of the colors. And fun fact, I actually don't keep everything that we design. I'd love to keep the things that really speaks to me because we design for you, right? We merchandise for you. So it all doesn't speak to me, but if I have it, it's like the favorite of fave. So love the good Lori. Oh, and also the Arion So Do you remember her? Kept her. So shoe department. Um, oh, and here we have some boots. Okay, so the way that I shop, as you can see, especially for shoes, I'm an investment purchaser. So I will get a good rainbow shoe, a good uh, pay less shoe, a good, you know, a good $12.99 shoe. But there is just something about Piraraku leather. And there's just something about a good Fendi leather, a good Napa that really speaks to my soul. So um, here is a little bit of the boot collection. So good snake skin, got a little Gucci there. And um, yeah. And I wear these all the time. The thing about it is like, you'll see the entire closet, but I wear all my stuff, all of it. Most favoritist, ooh, this is hard. No, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Ooh, this is hard. Most favoritist part of the shoe department, okay? <laughs> so these are the sneaks. As you can see, I'm rocking a good sneak right now. Because for me, it's about being both cute and comfy. I am a whole 40 years old. I'm not walking around in a stiletto all day. And I know you're not neither. Stop it. I got two kids. And so it's all about the comfort. So I love a good sparkly sneaker. And uh, fun fact, my husband is also a sneaker head. And he'll point them out before I do. So love these. Love these. All right, and here go the three inch date night. It ain't even date night for real, for real. We've been married 13 years. So here go the special occasions shoe section, okay? So this is the area where I keep all of the stuff that I don't really wear very frequently. So Louboutin, love them, but we know it's not the most comfortable thing on the earth. That pinky toe be like this. We know that, right? <laughs> so good d and g um we had a fashion show some years back and this is actually the shoe that i wore to the show and they were yes hella uncomfortable as well so they they sit up here real real cute you know just real cute all right so love this area and um yeah i got a random perfume bottle down here yeah um someone gifted me this but i already had it so i just set it here for decoration and also fun fact <gasps> ain't no glass here, right? So this whole unit got delivered and this one ain't had no glass and I still ain't called the people to fix it. Try it. <laughs> so let's hit up the rotunda area. So this part of the closet is actually basement level. So it's underground and when they were building the home, there is a thousand, I don't even know how many layers of concrete and cement and all of that. It felt like they spent the most time building the basement. And as you know, we use commercial builders that work on commercial projects. So if ever a hurricane come, I'm coming in this part of the closet. So this is the area where I keep all of my things that I don't usually wear every day. That's kind of the science, right? In this part. So there's some cute dresses, but I got a lot on the third floor that I rock and, you know, rotate every single day. Also, 
the unseasonable items. So like sweaters, blazers that are just a little bit too hot for this time of year. Okay, so this part of the closet, I really love. So this is like, you know, you go to a museum and like you have the artifacts. So these are my African artifacts. So on my 40th birthday trip, went to Masai Mara and these are just some natural pieces that the tribesmen actually made. And so I decided to, I'll wear them sometimes, you know, but on a real special occasion, but for the most part, they sit here. So um, there's a traditional African belt and some necklaces. Um, and one of them I actually use as wall art. And then also uh, some of our scarves that I personally love, you know, I like to display things as well as wear them. So a lot of the things I actually have two pieces of. And so this is our abstract scarf, which sold out immediately. Um, it's gonna come back, it's gonna come back, I promise. But when you see it, get it. Mine is right here. And then over here we have more boots. So this area is kind of like a combat boot section. So got all the chunky heels, the grungy boots, things like that. I really, really love these, love these. But they're really uncomfortable to wear, believe it or not. The leather isn't, you know, don't give like it needs to give. But I'm still wearing, I'm still be cute, still be cute. Some more boots over here. And then like some special occasion things. So just like going out stuff, dresses, and then all of the furs. And remember I told y'all I keep the things that I love. Mm. I love a good Dina bag. We'll have to bring the Dina bags back, um, but I have all of the colors that were really important to me. So they're all hanging up. And this is a really creative way for you to hang your purses as well. Just put them up on a hanger by the strap. All right, so let's head on up to the second floor. All right, and this is the second level. So this is the level where I accessorize, all right? So when I'm headed out of this door, right into my garage, this was designed to be like the last piece that you put on before you walk out of the house, right? And for me, that's my jewelry. Um, just like the handbags, I keep all of the pieces that are super important to me. Um, and also just some news clippings and things like that. I love natural stone, so I love our energy collection. Um, oh, and I also love our Amina collection. So, you know, that, that's a keeper for me. And then the hoops are really lightweight as well. So a word about coffee table books. I love to design and decorate with coffee table books, but I love to display mine open on my favorite page. So kind of like an open face sandwich. So down here is you'll see it open to the giraffe. Um, I do have some that are like closed, like this one. And like these, but for the most part, you'll see them open. Just so that I can turn the pages and not forget about them because they have a tendency to just be fixtures, but I actually want to read, you know, all the things and enjoy all the things. So yeah, oh, okay, here's a special note. So this is from a friend in my head. Uh, the note goes, thanks for making me shine. It was great working with you. Love, Whoopi. The one and only Whoopi Goldberg. If you remember, I had an opportunity to interview her maybe a year ago or a year and a half ago for the holiday season for HSN. And it was so magical. And I felt like she's a sister in my head. She's a rebel. Yeah, I don't care how you feel about it. <laughs> so, this is my tea section. In my closet, I have one tea section, but there are tiny tea sections thoughtfully placed throughout the entire home. One day I'll give you a whole house tour. You want it? Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Then you need to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, I ain't doing it until... Okay, you hit it. Thanks, thank you. So this is a tea section and I keep waters in one part of my office. My teas are here and this little delicate box and then my warmer is here just pour the water right in here turn this on and then in the morning when i come down i can enjoy a cup of tea without having to run to the kitchen okay so this area um this is the second island in the closet this is important to me because sometimes you just want to i come down from the third floor and we'll go up there next to like accessorize with what I have on. Sometimes you wanna be able to lay the options out. So I'll look in the mirror, lay my options out. And if you follow us on social, you'll see sometimes I do it where you guys get to help me pick out the accessories on live stream. But I like to lay everything out so that I can see what I have. And I feel like whatever your space is looking like, when they're organized and they're spread apart, you can actually, I feel like you dress better because you can see everything that you have and it's not like all on top of one another. Here's another really important tip, earring bags. 
girl. I have these everywhere. So this is my little bowl of earring bags. And I just make sure that, you know, before I leave out the house that I'm, that I ain't, be, I ain't caught slipping. None of, none of the things, right? So love that. Here's another fun fact. I am a friend of fashion. I ran into a lady's, I, I was in Dillard's one time and she was like, oh, you shop other designs? I was like, of course I do. I love a good Chanel bag and I love a good Louis bag and all of the things. I don't only wear my, my own stuff. Okay, so this is where all the work gets done. This is where the Zoom calls take place and all of the things. So this is my, my gorgeous, my gorgeous office. I'm so pleased with it. So check out the wallpaper. It is a golden uh, chinoiserie. And I love the elements and just the vibe in here. I also love having a office in my closet because I'm inspired by the things that are around and it inspires my work. So it just makes sense for the spaces to be connected. Um, and I also want it to feel like Japanese garden, right? So overhead you have these beautiful butterflies and um, I love them because they look like stained glass and they also change colors at nighttime. It's really fun. And uh, so this chair I have had a good good while so it followed me uh to the new house there's some things that are like brand spanking new but i don't want to throw out all of my old stuff because it has memories and sentiment you know so i just wanted to be able to keep it and like have that comfort feel and of course the scent of the entire home is none other than our brazilian martini it smells like a sweet ass brazilian martini so yeah you just you gotta get you one you know what it smells like so this is a really cool view. Um, my double doors lead out to a patio. And I wanna, you know what I wanna put out here? I just ain't had a chance to do it yet. Uh, one of those big old queen chairs, the wicker ones, you know, like from the 70s, you remember the girl with the afro sitting in it? She was all greased up. <laughs> that's what I wanna put out. Wait, next time you come back, that's gonna be here. I have already seen it online. It's in my car. <laughs> and then I just have a really nice view um, of the pool. So yeah, love it. You made it on all three floors, girl. So this is the top floor. This is like, this is the penthouse. This is where I get dressed on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything that Charisse wears that doesn't need to be stored away or is not a, you know, a piece of jewelry or, you know, all those things are kept up here. So we'll start over here. All right, so this is also one of my most favorite areas of the third floor, my perfume bar. So this has uh, all of my scents that I love. I am presently obsessed with Tiziana Terenzi. Love, love that brother and sister duo. Amazing. Um, my husband likes to, he likes a good Maison, Kirk Jean, you know, so I rock that for him. But this is the area where I stop and just make sure I'm smelling good. Um, and also the sunglasses. Y'all know y'all always catch me in a pair of sunglasses or frames. So they all live here too. All right, so never throw your boxes away. I'm gonna show you why. All right, so all of the beautiful boxes, like these and all kinds of things, you can reuse them. So what's in here? My Beyonce uh, souvenir kit, girl, yeah. Oh, and some crinkle paper for back in the day, just so I don't forget where I came from. Like all of that is here, but also like in the big Chanel boxes, I definitely keep hair supplies in here. So girl, there's some rollers in here, some set and spray. I mean, some processing caps. I got a little bit of everything. So no one would ever know, but that's what's in here. So it was really important to me to have a golden staircase in the house. And listen, everybody was like, no, you don't need no golden staircase. I'm like, yes, I know what I need and I'm gonna get exactly what I want. So this was custom. Um, it was like we had to find the paint for it and all. I didn't want it to be like shiny golden, like my shelves. I wanted it to be gold, but just like a matte soft feminine gold. So yeah, I love it and I would not have it any other way. <sighs> so this is like the part of the closet that feels most home to me, you know, because all of my daily things are here. So like 
all of my slacks, my dresses, the things that I'm gonna reach for. Like you can just look around and you have seen me in one of these outfits at some point in time. Also, my most favorite bags are up here, my daily wear bags. So on the first floor, like I mentioned, those are the things that I'm not, I don't have in rotation all the time. It might look like a person's storage area, if you will, right? This is like, I'm rocking my Avas. I'm rocking my Dotties. These are just the things that I love. Also my duffel bags because I travel quite a bit. So to throw something in the bag and just go ain't nothing for me. And I try to have everything organized by silhouette up here and I'll show you what I mean. So over here, these gold hangers, um, I was trying to figure out if I wanted the whole closet to be gold hangers or not. And I was like, no, we just gonna make a special section for the gold hangers, all right? So this is like, these are the things that I love, absolutely love, um, you know, just a camel jacket, dresses that's coming out, all of those kinds of things. Then we get to the slacks. So the things that I do not want to fold up, Fiorella pants, um, Chloe skirts, all kinds of things are right here. And it's crazy, because I'm running out of space already. Pray for us. All right, and then, <laughs> and I told y'all I don't even keep everything. I don't even keep it all. Um, this is kind of like the dress section. So I got a little bit of everything up here. Um, fun fact, so while we were getting the closet designed out, we had the racks installed, right? They put these up and they were too low to the ground, so much so that I could not hang a dress. I didn't have enough clearance, enough height to be able to hang a dress. So we had to redo, because these were custom, we had to go back and redo the measurements all over again. So, and it was like almost move-in dates. So I was like, no, I gotta hang my dresses, so we can hang our dresses now. All right, so this area, oh, we love our good Chrissy's. So uh, the Chrissy's are here, the Chrissy's are here. So that's, this is a storage area for those. I got my shorts here, everything by silhouette, tops. All the jackets and blazers are all together. This looks like a whole rainbow because it's all Sassy Jones. And then all my dotties are together because um, this is a very special silhouette because this is the bag I go to between this and Ava. If I want to put my work stuff in my laptop, it can fit in there. And then um, everything else, white shirts. I love a good crisp white button up. That's why I love our Audrey. You know, and I have tons of them from all kinds of different brands. And, um, oh, go Dartmouth. Y'all know I, I dropped out. So <laughs> I got a sweatshirt though, and I did complete a business program. It turned out all right. <laughs> it turned out all right. And then uh, these are my joggers. So um, I started, because I was running out of space, let me show you what I did that was kind of creative. So I just started to put the pants with the joggers so you don't have to go from here to there to find the things, you know? So I was like, okay, if I just want to wear it, I'll just pick one hanger up and that's that. So this is what I call my sparkle party couch. And um, it's ivory, but it's a little off color. I don't know if you can tell, cause it got a little bit of everything up in it. I call it the sparkle party couch cause I throw everything on it when I was um, doing sparkle party in my old house. Now it's nice and clean. She ain't got to worry about that kind of abuse, but it's a little bit of O-rings, a little bit of uh, jewelry stones, a little bit of zippers and buttons that just got caught up in here and then you just pull it. But um, I love her. This is also my prayer and meditation couch when I want to pray and meditate inside. I like to do it outside, but first thing when I wake up, if I don't feel like being outside, I'll come here and I have um, my affirmation cards, my Bible's right behind there. And this is where, this is where I talk to God. So that is the three-story closet tour. It's the one you've been waiting on. And listen, I'm super intentional about all of the decisions that I make. So if you have a question, like, Sharice, why was this there? Why was this there? Ask it, comment below, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have about the design process, any of it, ask below. Also, you be happy and subscribe, all right? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so and turn all your notifications on and be sure to follow us on social for like all the stories and inside tea you can follow myself personally at sharice in jones and also the company at shop sassy jones love you with the love of the lord and make sure you stay sassy bye